Oh no, my movie was a huge success. Gotta go fast leg it before I get cancelled by a bunch of losers. Okay, normally I don't cover these types of topics. And yeah, I'm a billion years late to this, like in internet time. But this is something I want to talk about and it's revolving around a new Sonic movie. Now, I don't have to watch the movie to talk about what I'm about to talk about. I mean, I'm not exactly a cinema junkie. The last film I've watched and sat down in cinema was Deadpool 2. But the amount of times I went to the cinema is irrelevant. What is relevant is what the hell happened to the basics of just going to the cinema with a couple of mates, sitting down, and just having a good time, just enjoying the film. And if you did like it, fair enough, move on. Or if it's just a bad film in general, I don't know, just take the piss out of it. Now, you go to the cinema, sit on your ass, watch a film, go back to your cockroach inbred infested pad, log on to a computer, and write down your inbred wank flinging pigeon brained opinion about how Toy Story, fucking Toy Story, or any kid friendly film, like Sonic the Hedgehog, is lacking diversity or is Homer Simpson phobic. My brain cells are having nuclear explosions reading this because it's a fucking movie about toys coming to life. Kids toys, why would a kid give an ounce of a fuck about any of that? These people are so self-absorbed and full of self-importance that they think their dribble is of any importance to the public. And they make excuses for their nonsense, like starting a conversation or a discussion, when the conversation or discussion in hand is shit. It wastes everyone's time and gets in the way of way more important issues. In fact, most of these people don't even watch the damn movie. They just find stupid reasons to dislike it or get offended by it. In fact, how can they be offended by it if they haven't watched it? I mean, who watches a film at their leisure or whatever entertainment it is, sits down and goes on a twisted Is this film offensive autopsy? Slur here, slur there. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's nothing wrong with it. And I probably wasn't paying attention most of the time. So instead of getting on with my life, just saying it's shit or good, like what most normal people do, I'm just going to make shit up to avoid looking stupid while illustrating that I'm also woke and no one sees what I see, when in reality, everyone sees me as an idiot. But I know better because my tinfoil hat says so. Oh, I was so lucky to have found it next to a pair of nappies in a shop one day because now I see Sonic for what he really is. Now, I know how this is going to play out. In fact, everyone knows how this normally plays out. If you're a normal fucking bloke or woman, the first thing that's going to come to your mind is no one fucking cares. No one cares. No one fucking cares. And you know why that is? Because people pay to see a good movie. No ifs or buts. And you know why we're attracted to their movies and why they're smashing it? in the box office? I'll tell you why. Because they ignore people like you and they're doing their own thing. And they're instead listening to the people that actually matter and have valuable input. And if they listen to you lot where your input is, oh, I think we should make Sonic gay, that would outright destroy the brand. The original design for Sonic was really bad and people absolutely hated it. They listened, went back to the drawing board, and look at them now. They just taught Hollywood stupid, dumbass writers or directors a valuable lesson. The reason why the new Sonic film is a massive success, and this one has flopped from what I've heard, is because people are sick and tired of sexuality and diversity, or whatever political statements, being pushed in their face through films. And that nonsense is becoming more of a priority than the art of telling a good movie. And it's even more ridiculous that they're trying to push this shite onto kids' films that they don't even watch. And believe me, I know these types of people are the biggest clowns on the planet. Easy to ridicule, easy to outsmart. Very typical low-hanging fruit. But like every joke and punchline, if you hear it over and over again, it starts to get 
really annoying and then eventually becomes a nuisance. Exactly like these people, they're not only a joke, but they went from being a joke to a agonizingly unbearable one. Like, ugh, stop repeating the same joke over and over again. It's not funny anymore. Bottom line, we're not being offensive. We're not discriminating anybody. We have nothing against people who are different. All we want is to be entertained. No ideologies or agendas forced down our throats and forced into movies from web blogs and articles that don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's it. We don't want this input that makes no sense, because that's like me saying, I think Sonic should also have another set of arms, and just stick with it. An absolute horrible idea. You don't see religion interfering with kid-friendly films like this. Like, imagine if a bunch of Roman Catholics came out one day and basically said, we think Sonic the Hedgehog should be Roman Catholic. Why? It's about a blue fucking hedgehog that runs really fast. You see why I like to stay as far away and ignore them as much as possible? Because all the crap they want to outrage over will just drive you mad. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Ta.